I am Nessa. This is Blackboard Wednesdays on ESL Top 10. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about pronouncing contractions. Contractions. What are contractions? Contractions are when two words are shortened. So a letter or a sound is removed. And you know what? I use them all the time. What's a contraction? A contraction is an abbreviation. So when we contract verbs, we're taking two words and shortening them. We're taking out a letter or a sound. And these can be pretty tricky for students to pronounce. So today, I'm going to show you some contractions that you should use in your English to make it more informal, more natural, because really we use them all the time. So I'm going to encourage you to repeat after me as we go through these contractions. So the first one is I will. I will. I will be right back. Sounds like I'll. 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 I'll sounds exactly like I'll, which is the space between rows, as in in the airplane, I sat beside the aisle. I'll be right back after these messages. You will is you'll. You'll. You'll, you'll be fine. Don't worry about a thing. She will is she'll, she'll, she'll. She'll pass her test. Don't worry about her. He will, he will is heel, heel. Your foot has a heel sounds exactly the same, the contracted form, heel. We will. We will is we'll. We'll. This sound, the contracted form of we will, we'll, sounds exactly like wheel, which is you have four wheels on your car, hopefully, unless you're in a comp car. Maybe you got three. I don't know. They will. They'll. 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 They'll be here any minute. This is my favorite one. It will is it'll, it'll. I think of it as the adjective little without the L. It'll, it'll, it'll probably rain. See those clouds? Now we're gonna talk about contracting the verb have as an auxiliary verb. So used with another verb in the past participle, forming the present perfect. So here's the sentence, for example, I have been. I have been there. Yes, I have been there. So we contract it to I've. I've been there. Yeah, I've totally been there. I've been there. Can you catch it? I've been there. I've. I've. If you're talking about you, you have. You have finished, haven't you? Becomes you've. You've. You finished, right? You finished, right? Sometimes it's really hard to catch, but the clue is if you hear a verb in the past participle, finished, finished. That means there's a form of have in between the subject and the main verb. So you've been there. Even if you don't hear the v, it's there because of the been. Um, it has, it has, it has started. The movie has started. It has, it's easy. It's, it's the same as it is. It sounds exactly the same. It's, it's been forever. And she has, he has is she's, she's, he's, it's a bit of a Z sound, she's, he's. So those are some contracted forms of auxiliary verbs like will and have. You can use these in your English to sound more natural. Don't be afraid of them. Just jump in and use contractions. So here's one last one for you. Repeat after me. Hey, hey, how have you been? Sounds like, how have you been? How have you been? I really missed you. I am Nessa. This is ESL Top 10. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and join our awesome community of English superstars. <laughs>